Welcome to another episode of Weekend Warriors. A couple days ago on our Facebook page, we put up this picture. And we had a lot of good guesses. Here are some of the ones that we liked the most. So finally, here's the video to show you exactly what it is we got. That's right. We picked ourselves up a shot cam. If you're not familiar with what a shot cam is, I'm going to go through it and then we're going to do a live test while we shoot some clay pigeons. So right now shot cam is running a $100 off uh, sale with free two day shipping. Let's unbox it and see what it looks like. It comes in a uh, plastic case with this sleeve and inside the plastic case we're going to have a uh, shot cam sticker. Every good product comes with a uh, sticker. You got a little shot cam chamois here. I suppose this is for uh, cleaning off the lens of the glass and then also uh, can work on it, I suppose. You get a wrench for tightening the uh, mounts onto your barrel of the gun. You got a cable for charging. You got the plug-in adapter for the charging cable. You have a bag of extra parts and then we have the shot cam itself. Now the shot cam uh, comes with a few different mounts. You can get a 12 gauge mount, 410, 28, double barrels. Uh, I got the 12 gauge mount for my pump shotgun. And this camera is 100% waterproof. So it has the back cover that you can unscrew. This is where your on and off button is going to be. You have a couple uh, LED lights that's going to tell you which mode it's in. Uh, and this is where you would plug in your charging cable to charge the internal lithium ion battery. On this side we have a lens cover. Well, I'll take that off to be able to record the video. So a few technical specs about this camera. It weighs five and a half ounces, so it's going to add only five and a half ounces of weight to your barrel. It has an internal memory of 64 gigabytes. They say that it will be about 2,000 clays uh, if you have it in the clay shooting mode. Uh, that's a lot of video. It records in 1080 full HD at a hundred frames per second. You can bump that up to 180 frames per second, but then you're only recording in 720, which is still pretty good. This also has internal sensors in it. So it is a continuous record device, but it only saves the clip when it feels a uh, recoil from your gun. So as you shoot, it's going to record that clip of the shot. And with the different preset modes that's inside the camera, uh, they have one for shooting clays, shooting uh, flying birds, uh, also for steel hunting. It's going to record uh, a few seconds before the shot and a few seconds after and slow that down automatically. So again, this is a continuous record uh, device, but it's only going to save the clips if it senses recoil from your gun. So that way you don't have to weed through uh, minutes or hours of video to try to find the action shots. One really nice thing about this camera is the on and off button. It's a quick one click and the camera's already on and it's recording. You don't have to sit and hold anything for 10 seconds to try to get it on or worry about turning on the device. So you can sit out in the field with it off, save on battery time, and just do a click, one click on the uh, on button and you're ready to go and it will automatically start recording after you shoot. It has built-in Wi-Fi so you can connect to it through your mobile device with the Shot Cam app. And you can download the video right to your app and look at it out in the field to see who shot the bird or if you shot below it or in front of it. The battery life on this camera is going to run between four and six hours. It all depends on how much of the Wi-Fi you're going to use out in the field. If you're not going to use any Wi-Fi and just have it on the standby mode the whole time, it's going to be closer to that six hours. If you're going to use a lot of Wi-Fi and download and review videos on it as you're out in the field, it's going to use a lot more of that battery and you're going to be down closer to that three or four hours. And to charge this device, it takes about two hours from it being fully dead to a full charge. Shotcam says that the internal battery will last for about three years without any uh, loss in charging. Uh, they do offer a battery replacement where you can send this back to them and they'll replace the battery out for around $60. So let's get this mounted on the gun and we're going to go outside and shoot some clay pigeons. 
All right, now that we got the gun out, we're gonna make sure that the gun is on safe. Anytime that you're working with a weapon, make sure that you uh, check that it's unloaded. I always like to keep the uh, breech open, just uh, extra security there. And always treat it as if it was loaded. Uh, make sure you're watching your muzzle. It's better to be safe than sorry. We're gonna take our shot cam. We're gonna take our uh, Allen wrench tool here. We're gonna loosen up the mounting screw. And we're gonna attach this right to the bottom of the barrel. And we wanna make sure that it's relatively straight with your barrel. Take your Allen wrench and just tighten that down. When you download the ShotCam app, you can connect to it and then you can move the reticle on it uh, to your point of aim. You'll wanna aim at something about 30 yards downfield and then move the reticle to, so it matches up to with your point of aim and you're good to go. So I already, already tested it out and right where we mounted it here is right on to the point of aim at 30 yards. So I didn't have to move the reticle at all. But if you do, that is an option. They also have different reticles in the app. You can change it from a, a circle or a cross. Uh, today we're gonna be using the circle. So now that we got everything uh, mounted and we're ready to go, the camera's set up, let's get outside and bust some clays. Now that we uh, got the camera on the gun, and we went over some of the specs. We're gonna come outside here, we're gonna throw some clay pigeons, and we'll see what the video looks like from the camera. It is a cold, negative 23 degrees here in Minnesota, but we're gonna sit out here, we're gonna throw a few clay pigeons up by hand, and we'll see how it looks. We're gonna turn the camera on. It only takes one quick push of the button, and the camera turns on. The green light is on, so we're ready to go. It's just gonna constantly record, and when it senses the recoil of the gun, that's when it's gonna save that clip. So, Misty's out here, and she's going to hand throw some clay pigeons up in the air, and we'll see what the video looks like. This side? Yeah. And then, you're gonna throw with your right hand, right? Yeah. Just throw them out there. Okay. Oh! So now that we got this shot on sh the shot cam, we can go back and analyze what happened. And as you can see, I led this clay pigeon just a little bit too much and I shot in front of it. The shot cam is going to come in handy to analyze these types of shots and become a better shooter. Ready? Throw very high. Huh? Still didn't throw it very high. Ready? Oh. There you go. It's cool. Ready? It's the last one I got here. I'll get more. Ready? Oh. Yeah. Well, that worked out pretty slick. I think that looked pretty good. I'll be able to learn a lot on my leads uh, when I'm shooting, and then also get really cool footage when we're out goose hunting, turkey hunting. I can put this camera on my bow too, so when we're out archery hunting for turkey or deer. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this camera. I'm excited about cool footage that we're gonna get with it. And then also the fact where I can pattern different uh, choke tubes, different, uh, ammunition also through my gun and get that really cool footage and also i'll be able to learn a lot about my shooting and leads especially when we start shooting at geese and ducks uh, i'll be able to download that uh, video right away to my phone and be able to see exactly what's going on so i really am excited about the shot cam and i'll leave a link down in the description if you want to go check it out and get one for yourself <laughs> <laughs>